I'm okay, thank you. Please, uncle, you very hungry, uncle. They're not I'm so sorry, I have no money. Please, uncle. Yeah. Because you buy one take. See, there's just kids walking around asking for money. But I remember being a kid and seeing a skateboard for the first time. It just looked like really fun to do, you know? And since out here in India, skateboarding doesn't really exist. It was so many people's first time looking at a skateboard when I was walking down the street with a skateboard in my hand. Skateboarding has no barrier, nothing but good times, friendships, and I think it's like something that's not so big around the world. There's some countries that don't have it. Like you said, it's really hard to find like skateboard in India, right? So we just want like to show the kids that it's out there, something like this exists, and like even just donating one skateboard can really help out. Even if it helps just two kids, like we're happy to do so. <laughs> So I ended up in India because this guy came out to LA last month and we were talking about like his project. So a skate project is a project where we go to orphanages in Asia and teach kids how to skate. We provide them with skateboards too. Shivan has skate aid, but his company is called his name, Shimon. So we did a collaboration piece just to hand out to the kids. It's the one actually I'm wearing right now. Erased X Shimon. But yeah, we have like a duffel bag filled with tees. And we want to like give away these t-shirts before we leave either to like an orphanage or like kids on the street. Okay. So who do we have this to? Okay, here you go. Thank you. We've been going around to orphanages teaching the kids how to skate. And it's cool because skateboarding does really bring you like a joy that nothing else does. I never expected it actually to come to India. I don't know, I just never planned on it. But being in a good place, I think it's good for us to give back and spread skateboarding. Travel in the world, yeah. spreading skateboarding all <laughs> yeah. over the world. So this alleyway is like a little shopping center in Kolkata. And it's really cool just to like see how different it is here compared to like the other areas I've been. So many people have their own little stores around here. Everywhere we go, like their own little shop around. I wonder where they got all the products from, so many different things. It's hot. 
shit, it's really good. Ah, it's good. It's a 10. 10 for sure. It's so good. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> How many did you sell? The balloon sell. 20 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> One ice cream. Do you want an ice cream? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the balloons. We found a skate park. That's crazy. Nice to meet you. Big fan. Oh, you watch? Yeah, big fan, big fan. <laughs> How many skaters live in this town? Probably maybe 50. 50? 50. 50. 50 skaters. Wait, 50 skaters. Yeah. You want to try? No, oh, that's my water bottle. You have to ride my skateboard if you want it. Oh yeah. shit, you opened it up. Whoa, oh, you're spilling it everywhere. The monkey's just come up, he opens it up, and now he's trying to take it. Or she's trying to take it. I think that's the mom. Try taking the skateboard. Oh, look, look. No way. Wait, that's my water. Oh. Oh, he's running off with it. Come back. Oh, what the? Whoa. What's up? continuing the skate project out here in Nepal. We just climbed up all these set of stairs to make it on top of this temple. In the back is a beautiful view of all of Kathmandu, and that's the city we're in right now. We want to go to an orphanage right after this and continue the skate aid project. Your pajamas. Don't hide it. I'm putting this in the video because you're trying to make it look clean. It is our last day in Nepal and we went to the top of the mountains and got a hotel. Check it out. This room is really nice. We have a nice bed, a desk, a chair, desk. Why are you hiding? Get out of here. We have to like, see the back. Check this out. 
you can see everything in here. I wanted to thank Shimon and EJ for letting me join them on their Skate Aid project because this Skate Aid project was really cool to see like kids who don't really have much be like so happy to be able to skateboard. It doesn't matter where you come from, what language you speak or what religion you believe in, you only need a skateboard to bring people together. In this project we visited many orphanages. In orphanage many kids have very limited things that they can do and in their life. We believe that bringing in skateboarding and giving them new experience will bring some kind of joy to them and happiness to them. So when we visit like orphanages and schools and we talk to kids, we notice that they don't have their parents from when they were babies. And I think skateboarding can be a key tool for them to have some sort of relief from the stressful situation they're having. We saw all the kids like smiling, joking around, even the shy ones. Everyone was just laughing and having a good time. So I'm grateful to like be here with them and like to be able to experience this. This guy's a Japanese YouTuber, so I'll put like his link in the description. It's all in Japanese. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you subtitle, so check them out. Yo. Peace. <laughs>